Man, it says right here that P. Diddy made $150 million from Sean John. Everyone's getting paid starting their own clothing line. Eve, Gwen Stefani, Master P, Gary Coleman. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard about that. The, the what you talking about collection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? We should start our own clothing line. Yeah, our own clothing line. Spirit, you can do the designing, and Arnez and I can do the selling. We'll call it Boo Boo. Buy us, buy us. <laughs> oh, hey, Daddy, give us some money. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Daddy, I'm serious. We want to start our own clothing line. Yeah, we're going to be millionaires, and I'm going to do the designs. What? With the way you dress? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're serious. <laughs> Daddy, you always said that a person who aims at nothing has an easy target to hit at. Help us to stop. Why don't you aim yourself at a grammar book? <laughs> Hello? Hey, what's up, Pop? Oh, man. Can't I wait till I get off work? Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. All right, enjoy Old Faithful. Oh, no, not Mom the Geyser. <laughs> Hey, Dwayne, you remember that list of complaints that the barbers gave me? Well, apparently, Candy sent a copy to my dad, and none of it can wait till I get off work. Okay, Daddy, back to me. I'm trying to tell you I believe I could fly. Sweetie, with the grades you get, I'm happy you can walk. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You three disgust me. This coming from a guy who brushes his teeth with his finger? <laughs> they say that success is 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration. And I don't see anybody up in here sweating. Except for me, I just came from playing a little basketball. <laughs> they let you play this time? I didn't say it was my sweat. <laughs> Look, let me explain capitalism to you tykes, all right? You guys have a great idea, but no capital. I have capital, but no idea. <laughs> now, how can I exploit, I mean, help you? <laughs> Ooh, Dwayne, this money is wet. Now that is my sweat. Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. I'll be there to think and then, what I truly will you do? Now, it's been six months since Flex has been in charge, and everything is just falling apart. You're right. Our towels aren't getting cleaned in a timely enough fashion. We're constantly running low on our supplies. And he still hasn't fixed that barber's chair. What barber's chair? <laughs> Yo, I say we go on strike until all our needs are met. Yo, how much money we got in that strike fund? The strike fund got absorbed by the Krispy Kreme fund. <laughs> which got absorbed by me. <laughs> Well, when Flex gets here, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind and let him know that this is just all wrong. What's wrong? Poverty, world hunger, the Green Party, all wrong. <laughs> What's wrong with you, baby? Oh, uh, my backside's a little sore from a long distance butt kicking, thanks to that list you sent my dad. Hey, what happened to the chair, Walt? Man, I fell out of that chair and it messed up my neck. I can't move it. Feels like at least $2,000 worth of damage. <laughs> oh, there's your bookie. Where? Uh-huh, that's what I thought. <laughs> Look, I know I've been letting things go around here lately, but things have been crazy at work ever since they hired that new sidekick, Holly. Oh, poor Flex. The little loco TV celebrity has two jobs and he can't handle it. Don't say that. I can handle it. You want to know why? Because I'm a Barnes. And what's the name of this shop? Fatheads. Fat heads. <laughs> Before that, people, it was called Barnes and Sons. Hello, I'm one of the sons. <laughs> This barbershop has been in my family for 50 years, and I'm not letting it go down. Or well, my daddy's gonna be real mad at me. Will, what do you think of Spirit's new design? I call them Sprousers. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Pants with sneaker boots all in one. <laughs> A little snug, but does make my booty look good. <laughs> so, how much money do we have left over? Well, 
let's see, with threads, laces, and fabric, we're ten dollars over budget. But ten dollars? No, no, we gotta shut the factory down and move to Mexico. Come on, vamos, bingo. Wait, wait, calm down. You'll pop your pants. Okay, all right, here it is. All right, what we need to do is create a product that we can mass produce cheaply. All right. Now I'm willing to plant a little more seed money, but you farmers need to make it grow. Somebody answer the phone. My toes are swelling. Hello? Dang, I missed it again. I hate this new phone. I can never find it when it's in my purse, and I don't have any pockets on my skirt. I have an easier time keeping track of my hat. Too bad your phone wasn't in your hat. <gasps> <laughs> you go first. I got it. Shoes with coasters. <laughs> so that when you put your feet on the table, you won't leave a ring with a drink. <laughs> I thought for sure you were gonna say hats with pockets for your cell phone. <gasps> and the shoelaces are straws. <laughs> Makeup, hair, wardrobe, I'm here. Well, look who decided to show up for his floor clock broadcast. I'm sure you have an excuse that's as legitimate as the child my husband had with his mistress. <laughs> uh, I do. I had to handle some business. Uh, it's nothing for you to worry about. What's important is that I'm here and I'm ready to do my thing. Speaking of things, Where's Holly? <laughs> she is off putting together a story for your flex file. She's on location at the Eastminster Dog Show. Oh, is she undercover as a silicone schnauzer? <laughs> Instead of making digs at Holly, you should be checking your copy. We've made some changes. Ugh, I'll be fine. Look, I do sports three times a day. I just read the teleprompter. Well, much like your afternoon audience and my Botox injections, it's no longer working. Have a good show. Oh. 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 <sighs> Hello? Oh, Walt, I don't have time for this. Look, if you can't find a comb, use a fork, man. Ten seconds. Gotta go. And in five, four, three. The city of Baltimore threw a parade to honor its native son, Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> we Baltimoreans sure know how to party. <laughs> Open up! Then in NASCAR, driver Ricky Gill was critically injured in the sixth lap of a time trial. <laughs> Marching on to our next story, the Baltimore Ravens held tryouts for their beautiful cheerleaders today. <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof, indeed. <laughs> with this crop of beauties, who'll be watching the game? <laughs> we'll be right back with scores and highlights after these messages. Way to go, Dan, rather not. What are you talking about? You just witnessed 10 years of broadcast excellence under pressure, baby. <laughs> See, they can't teach that. No, but they can fire you for it. <laughs> this is why I came down here, huh? This? I came down here to fix the sink and it's just a clump of hair? <laughs> and you guys know I have a six o'clock broadcast. Why couldn't one of you have done it? Because it's nasty. And I don't think that's hair. Uh. <laughs> You know what, people? I'm not gonna be responsible for everything that goes wrong around here. Flex, you're the manager. Who else are we gonna call when stuff goes wrong? Yeah, manager, why don't you start managing? Oh, you want me to manage? Okay, I'll start managing. Ace, you're in charge of the towels and the barber capes. Candy, you handle the money. Walt, you're responsible for sweeping up around here. Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry, what, what am I responsible for? <laughs> you know what, there's an easy way to keep track of all this. I'm gonna make a chore chart. Short chart? Yeah. Oh, man, that takes me back to my days in that foster home. Yo, can I get in charge of the smokes and whiskey? Because I was good at that. <laughs> Say, fly guy, I'm surprised by now you haven't spanked my bottom and called me man candy. Uh, now I'm starting to understand why this is your third station in three months. <laughs> I'm talking about the interview. What interview? The one with R&B sensation Anthony Hamilton. It's, it's my idea I thought of, that segment. Celebrities who like sports. I emailed you about it. Flex, if we're gonna work together, we need to communicate, okay? Okay, I'll communicate this. I already have a show prepared and your idea is stupid. Nobody cares about, hey, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. All right, dog, get yourself some sit down, uh, man. In five, four, three. Welcome to the Flex Files. Joining us today out of left field is Anthony Hamilton. So, eh? 
I hear you're a big sports fan. Well, actually, I'm here to promote my new album. If you don't mind, I'd like to bless the audience with my new single, Coming From Where I'm From. Well, actually, Aunt, this is a sports show, and you... <laughs> where, where <laughs> Sitting here, I guess I didn't make bell. Got time and a story to tell. Starting when I was nine years old. Woke up, my daddy was gone. I started hustling, they couldn't tell me nothing. Fucking in the hood, trying to be somebody. My soul was on that day. I was searching for something. I tried to be good. I tried. Hello? Hey, what do you want now? Living too fast. You, yeah, yeah. The barbershop got robbed. <laughs> uh, beautiful song, brother. We'll be right back. Keep saying. <laughs> Remember from where I'm from. I'm from. You took my nails, Dwayne. The good ones. The curved ones with the fake diamonds in them. Ooh, ooh. The Friday night nails? <laughs> We got curved nails, fake diamonds. We know one thing. The thief had a hoochie girlfriend. <laughs> Put out an APB on all hoochies. Uh, don't worry, Candy. We've got plenty of those fancy nails stuck in my headboard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go home and start pulling them out for you. <laughs> okay, officer, who could have done this? Well, there's no sign of forced entry. <laughs> Looks like the door was left wide open. Oh, that's insane. I mean, who would be stupid enough to leave the door un... Excuse me. Who was in charge of lockup and forgot to do it? Hmm? Come on now, be in the door. All right, that's it. Everybody, break out your chore chart. Oh. Come on, <laughs> break it out. Come on. The irresponsible individual who was supposed to lock up was, uh, oh, uh, what's the sense of finger pointing? Uh, Flex, this says you are the one who's supposed to lock up. <laughs> hey, hey, that's finger pointing. When you point one finger, there's three pointing back at you. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yo, that's that's deep, Flex. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Washington, did you know that your business license has expired? Bu business license? I, I have a business license? <laughs> well, not anymore. It's been expired for six months now. And by law, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to report you to the state inspections department. Oh, come on, you're not gonna shut me down, are you? Look, we can work this out somehow. Uh, have, have you met Candy? What? <laughs> Actually, uh, no. I'll tell you what, since I'm such a fan of your show, I'll hold the paperwork back a week. I may be an officer of the law, but I can be a little naughty. <laughs> okay, Candy, now you're responsible for renewing the business license. I don't want to be in charge. Look, I'll give you an extra $50. $50? I can't be bought. I'll make it 75 well, at least I can get my cable turned back on at my house. All right, everybody, get to moving, get to moving. Sex in the city, here I come. I can't believe you all did not sell one phone hat yesterday at school. It's not our fault, Dwayne. People just don't like our invention. Maybe they just don't like you. <laughs> Dwayne, what's your point? Oh, no, you didn't. Didn't like that, did you? What'd you think? I'm a salesman. I'm used to it. <laughs> now, look, every one of those no's is like somebody spitting in your face. Right now, the three of you are dripping in saliva. <laughs> Wait, how are we supposed to get someone to buy something they don't want? Brianna, why do you wear that lip gloss? You look like you ate a pork chop without using your hands. <laughs> now, Arnaz, why do you wear that sweater? Two words, Freddy Krueger. And spirit, baby, just why? I'll tell you why. Because some advertiser told you to, all right? And that's what you need to do down at your school. See, sales is all about making people think they need something they don't have. I mean, create a frenzy. I mean, you know, get a, some wheels and a trumpet and create a bandwagon. Then we go town to town playing music and selling hats? Baby, it's a metaphor, all right? Now go sell some hats so we can get you into a better school. Go on. <laughs> 
mean, what are all these people doing here? Well, when I went down to renew the license, they said there were a couple of things that needed to be brought up to code. So since you put me in charge, I'm handling it. <laughs> Look at you handling things. I'm gonna start calling you Handy Candy. Oh. <laughs> you see that? You two need to take notes from her. Hey, Flex, you should see these plans. The shop's gonna look fabulous. I might even start telling people I work here. Hey, man, Candy's putting in all copper piping, Hunter Douglas ceiling fans, Mexican tile in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know they make that in Mexico, right? <laughs> all right, that's, that sounds good and all, but how much is all this gonna cost? With materials and labor, a mere $30,000. A mere $30,000? Well, is a mere gonna fly down here on his magic carpet and pay for it? <laughs> Flex, you don't understand. Sweetie, it's Mexican tile. Candy, I put you in charge because I thought as a woman, you could use your feminine wiles to get us a good deal. Not on my cousin. Child, he ain't looked at me like that since I was a kid. <laughs> your cousin is a contractor? All right, you no longer in charge. That's what? it. Look, I have no time for this, y'all. I got to be to work in 10 minutes. Who am I going to get to run this place? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Flex, we, we have a problem. <laughs> Don't know. It's, it's not that bad. Ow, I'm suing. Ooh, Spirit, your hat is fat. Where did you get it? <laughs> Hold on, girl. I've got a call. <laughs> Hello? Okay, Mom, bye. <gasps> you answered it so quickly and so stylishly. Pockets, this hat is the only way to go. Not to mention, it's a great way to show off your guns. Arnett, catch! Play on, play on. But how much do they cost? Only $6.95, including shipping and handling. Can I borrow yours? No, my sister. You got to get your own. <laughs> And we're out. Thanks for covering, Scott. Geraldine, sorry. I know I missed my broadcast, but I couldn't help it. It's the barbershop. Things are falling apart. Well, I feel for you, Flex. Which means my medication must be wearing off. Get me my meds! <laughs> Look, Flex, you're gonna have to make a choice, all right? The barbershop or your job? Geraldine, it's not that easy. This barbershop has been in my family for years. My grandfather passed it on to my father. My father passed it on to me, and I'm having a hard time keeping it running. That is so sad. Where are my pills? <laughs> <sighs> Geraldine, just give me a few more days. I promise I can juggle through this. Uh, do you understand what I'm going through? This barbershop is my birthright. Yes, it's your birthright. Yeah. You as one more broadcast, I'm putting you back in the field. <laughs> ah, the good people of Pfizer have set me straight once again. <laughs> What guys want now? Uh, rowboats, Flex. <laughs> when I left, the plumber was here. What happened? Oh, it was a money issue. He wanted something we didn't have any. <laughs> Listen, y'all, my neck is on the line at WYNX. I'm this close to having to cover the Chesapeake tournament again. You guys have any idea what it's like to cover a fish tournament and talk to fishermen? Rewarding. Exciting. No, fishy! <laughs> and I'm not... This is for you. It's your dad. <sighs> hey, Dad. Yet, I know the license has expired. But how did you know the ceiling fell in? <laughs> but, but I'm handling it. But how did you know we got robbed? <laughs> and what? Dad, are you sure you want to do that? All right, okay, it's your decision. All right, bye. Uh, what was that about, Flex? My dad thinks I can't handle managing the shop, so... he's selling the barbershop. Hey, 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 what, what is so funny? Look at this place. Ain't nobody gonna buy it.
Ooh, our stats are a hit. We made 500 bucks. Wait, hold on. Let's tell Duane we only made 75. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of cell phones on your waist, jabbing you in your side? Ow! Ow! Is that Duane? Well, I have a brand new invention, and I'm so excited! <laughs> From the brain of Duane Odell Knox, I bring you a hat that holds your cell phone. I call it the cell lat. <laughs> and I'm so excited! <laughs> Alright guys, you know that hot, hot, hot girl, Rachel? You mean the hot blonde from the boardwalk? No, I mean the hot, hot, hot blonde from the boardwalk. <laughs> Dude, you're in California. All the girls are hot. Mm. Except Emac's last date. <laughs> what was her name? King Latifah. <laughs> well, check this out. She's a masseuse, right? She invited me up to a spa and sent a barber for the weekend. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, she'd be working all day, but... She'll be working me all night. <laughs> mm -hmm. California is my kind of town. How you think Brianna's gonna take it? Oh, she'll be fine, so I'm not gonna tell her. Things have been cool with us being just friends. I'm not about to mess that up. You're gonna keep a secret from Brianna. My boy's growing up. <laughs> Shoot, I'm nobody's boy. I'm Rachel's man. About to work that this weekend. <laughs> right. Be back there. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Name. What you so happy about? Oh, um, I got accepted into guitar camp this weekend. Really? Hmm. Arnez away for the weekend. In the woods, irritating somebody else with his music. <laughs> now I'm happy. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Paper. I need a break. Oh, let's go to Tijuana again. Ugh, I'm not allowed in Mexico. You take 10 shots of tequila and throw a rock at the federales and suddenly you're a terrorist. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I gotta do something. Ever since Arnez and I broke up, I haven't done anything fun. What are you talking about? I told you all about the date I had last night. That was fun for you. <laughs> in a lonely, desperate Lisa kind of way. <laughs> Wait. Where did this come from? Redwood Retreat and Spa. Ooh, this sounds nice. You guys, do you know what this is? This is a sign. Yeah, sign we need to clean the house. Is that a condom wrapper stuck to the back of that thing? <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> no, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. An adventure. I have never been to a spa before. So what do you say? Girls weekend? Sure. Can we bring along a rich man to pay for it? No, no men. Just us girls. And we can use the money my dad sent me for spring break and we can all bunk in one room. Oh, wait a minute. I can't go. I have a date tonight. Asking the pizza delivery guy in to hang out while you search for a coupon is not a date. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. We're a bit lost. That sounds like an Australian accent. So you must be really lost. <laughs> we're actually here to play in the International Beach Volleyball Tournament, and we are in need of directions. <sighs> well, here's the directions right to my heart. <laughs> you can spike it as many times as you like. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> but we can't seem to find the Rusty Crab Motel. The Rusty Crab? That's the place with the police tape and the chalk outline out front. <laughs> Why would your team be staying there? No, the team is staying at the Venice Ocean View. Alternates are staying at the Rusty Crab. <laughs> you know, you'd be better off staying here. 
Oh, that's very kind of you, but we can't stay in the home of strange men. Uh, well, first of all, only one of us is strange. <laughs> and second of all, you know, it's not just our home. This is one of Venice's most charming bed and breakfast. That's right. We're a bed and breakfast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on in. Take a look. Oh, this is so cute. It's perfect. But it must be expensive. Not at all. We pride ourselves in being affordable and offering discounts to international volleyball players. <laughs> Please have it. Oh, please, please, please. And they beg, too. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> and, 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 and just so you know, I'm D-Mac, and this is my associate Cash. If you like fresh towels, he's your guy. And if you like a chocolate on your pillow, I'm your man. <laughs> sure about this spa stuff. Everybody is walking around naked under their robes. And some people need to tie their robes a little tighter. <laughs> you are here to relax, Rihanna. Well, how can I? Have you seen how expensive these spa treatments are? You guys aren't gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> well, we're just happy to be here, Brianna. We're just gonna hang out and enjoy the scenery. Mm. Hello, scenery. <laughs> Let the gaze begin. <laughs> on, you guys. This is a girls' weekend. No men. Good afternoon, ladies. It's a beautiful day today, so make sure you check out our view. Well, this is looking pretty good from here. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. What was that you were saying about no men? No, 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 girl. I said amen. I said amen. He is fine. <laughs> Come on, let's go check out the pool. I'm so glad you came up with me this weekend, Arnett. Oh, me too. This place is incredible. <laughs> so are you. Arnett's not here, not while I'm working. You have to wait until tonight, and then you'll find out how incredible this place really is. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I can wait. <laughs> well, if I didn't know that you just broke up with your girlfriend, I'd think you haven't had sex in years. <laughs> yeah, but who will believe that? I will see you tonight. Okay. You guys, what is with all the naked people? People are naked in the jacuzzi, naked in the mud. Even that old man was naked. Put on some clothes, Grandpa! Oh, 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 oh. I know I shouldn't be drinking in here, but it's doctor's orders. I get easily dehydrated. Oh, uh, it's okay. I don't work here, ma'am. Oh, please. My mother's a ma'am. This is all miss. As in, you wouldn't want to miss this. Wait a minute. You mean I'm supposed to be naked during my massage, too? But they just booked me with a male masseuse. It's not a sexual thing, Brianna. These are trained professionals. I don't care. I'm still switching to a female masseuse. And if she goes L word on me, I am so out of here. Here, ladies, it's time for your seaweed wraps. Oh, we can't afford seaweed wraps. Don't worry, it's included in the weekend package. You are part of the Sydney Wong bachelorette party, right? Why, yes, yes, we are. <laughs> this is Sydney Wong's cousin, Lisa. <laughs> Great. Just so you know, Sydney's been delayed and won't be here until tonight, but she asked us to get you started. Oh, well, what kind of a cousin would I be if I held things up? Let's go, people! <laughs> You must be awfully hot in all those clothes. I know a great strip drinking game. You strip while I drink. OK, that's not fair. Looks like you had a head start on the drinking. <sighs> Just what I'm about to get some. Here comes Brianna, blocking. Oh, thank you so much for letting me switch. Oh, and here she comes again. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. <laughs> okay, you don't understand. There's a girl out there. Oh, I understand totally. Who wants a girl when you can have a woman? <laughs> Our room 
is so cute. It feels so lived in. <laughs> Well, nothing's more quaint than staying at a bed and breakfast. Mm. In France, we stayed at one that served wine and cheese at sunset. Oh, please tell us to serve wine and cheese. Oh, please, please, please. They're begging again, dog. <laughs> please feel free to sample our complimentary spa products. Ooh, thank you, I will. <laughs> Mango lime passion body frosting. Oh, it smells good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you Brianna? Oh yes, I'm Brianna. Uh, you might want to rub some of that lotion in. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just um conditioning my surface first. You know, you just gotta let it sit for a minute. <laughs> okay, that's long enough. <laughs> Well, look, it's gonna be a few minutes before your next treatment. Would you like a complimentary foot massage while you wait? Uh, can I keep my clothes on? <laughs> oh. All right. What's this game you're playing? Because I think it's hot. <laughs> look, I'm hiding from someone. Ooh, you kidnapped me and the cops are looking for us. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't take me against my will. You're back. Hey, guys. Oh, perfect timing. We got wine and cheese for you ladies. Uh, why did your cab drivers follow you in? Oh, this is Paolo and Miguel. We met them at the tournament. <laughs> Aren't we naughty girls? I want to spank you. I told you they'd have wine and cheese for us. Oh, thanks. We're going to take this to our room. Huh. The cheap stuff. It's okay. I just go in to be drinking out of her belly button anyways. Here you go. Drink this. It'll flush out the toxins. What? You gave me toxins? Toxins were already in your body. I just helped release them. Yeah, you sure did. Enjoy the rest of your stay. Thank you. Now what are you doing, Brianna? I can't take it anymore. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now the shorts. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna take my chances out there. been sitting here enjoying some scenery <laughs> and I'm enjoying this cucumber salad oh excuse me can I please have some ranch dressing when you get a chance sure but you do know those cucumbers are for your eyes yeah I know and the dress is for my forehead facials in 20 minutes girls thanks so what wait how can you guys afford facials Oh, she thinks we're part of a bachelorette party. Everything's covered. That is so wrong. <laughs> Actually, it's so wrong. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Keep walking, Rachel. Keep walking. Hi, Brianna. I'm Rachel. Please don't be a masseuse. I'm your masseuse. <laughs> Here's your ranch dressing for your forehead. Thank you. I I I'm going to put this on later. <laughs> Well, come with me, and I will take you out onto the patio. Okay. Our new girlfriend, ex-girlfriend talking. No good can come from that. Don't say my name. Don't say my name. <laughs> Yo, this isn't the weekend we had planned, man. There are four people back there about to have sex, and none of them are us. Excuse me, D-Mac. Are you busy? Perhaps I spoke too soon. <laughs> yes, Melanie? Uh, it looks like the boys are going to stay over. Uh, Paolo and I are wondering if the other room's available. Sure. Just give us a minute to get it ready. Thank you. And what 
were you thinking? Now where are we gonna sleep tonight? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. As proprietors of this B&B, &B, we are required by law to have regular, unscheduled fire drills. I'm on it. Mm -hmm. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, here, let me. Before we get started, are there any problem areas that you want to tell me about? Oh, okay. Well, um, school's been a little more stressful than I thought it would be. You know, it's kind of hard living with five people. Ooh, and to top all that, I just broke up with my boyfriend who moved out here with me because, you know, we just went at different things. I wanted him to be the man of my dreams and he wanted to be a jerk. Actually, I was talking about problem areas on your body. Oh, I I'm sorry. Um... Well, I kind of don't like my ankles. Oh, I see. You're a virgin. Well, how do you know that? Well, this is your first time at a spa, isn't it? it you're a spa virgin. Oh, yeah, spa virgin. Good evening. Uh, hello? On table, now. Oh, no, I'm not here. Table! Now! Take off your clothing. I won't look. Relax, I'm not going to bite you. I'm gonna start on your back, and you just let me know if you feel any pain at all. Girl, believe me, I have a high tolerance for pain. You should have heard my ex-boyfriend sing. He sounds like a wounded dog. <laughs> Wait, just like that? What's going on over there? It's one of Helga's clients. She's got the hands of a Soviet brick mason. I front. Oh, how about you? You have a boyfriend? I did just meet this cute guy, and he's here to visit me for the weekend. Oh, good for you. I hope everything works out. Thanks. Normally, I don't date musicians. They're usually self-absorbed boneheads who spend most of the day oiling up and practicing rock star poses in the mirror. <laughs> Girl, that's what I had. I am so glad to be done with that. Well, I do kind of miss his abs, though. <laughs> mm, I know. My new guy, abs of steel. But he knows it. Oh, they all know it. But good thing they don't know is that's the only reason why we date them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Helga is rough. What is she doing to that poor woman? powder for your frail American tushy. Arnaz? Brianna, what are you doing at guitar camp? Wait a minute, you two know each other? Yeah, this is my ex-boyfriend. How do you know him? This is the guy I was telling you about. Hey, what a small world, huh? I can't believe you lied to me and said that you were going to guitar camp. Good luck with him, Rachel. But personally, I think you can do way better. I don't know what's going on here, but why would you have to lie to your ex-girlfriend? Well, if I told her I was going with you for the weekend, it would have been weird around the house when I got home. Wait a minute, you live with her? Oh, right. It's on my list of things to lie to you about. <laughs> well, I was going to tell you that I'm double-jointed, and I can drop it like it's hot in more than 20 positions. <laughs> but forget about it. Helga, he said your massage was weak. <laughs> Okay. Back on table, baby. I'll kick it up a notch. Look, we 
Adriana, let me explain. Okay, it's not like I lied to hurt you. I seriously didn't think you were ready to hear that I was spending the weekend with somebody. And I'm not ready to hear it now. I have reached a place spy people call total relaxation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm headed back to my room. Oh, and by the way, I'm completely naked underneath my robe. And loving it. <laughs> Because I'm wearing this dope jacket that I don't want to get sap on. Well, do we have to get the cheapest tree on the lot? Uh, let me put it to you like this. The cheaper the tree, the better your gift. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas. Oh, Mama, you made it before the blizzard. Yes, I did. Oh, baby, not too tight. I'm not feeling too well from the flight. It's probably just jet lag. Don't you mean broom lag, my pretty? <laughs> Flex, I am not in the mood. Oh, come on, Nicole. Just one for old time's sake. Come on, what you got? Come on. Come on. Uh, right, you so thin, if we put a dime on your head, you'll look like a nail. That's all you got? You must really be sick. Oh, a box of unhung Christmas decorations. Ooh, and a broken down Christmas tree. Still doing Christmas last minute, huh, Flex? Hey, what you call last minute, I call a free tree. <laughs> Well, I hope you didn't wait till last minute to get that two-way page of cell phone I asked for. <laughs> Why are you gonna play me like that? I got you covered, baby. Uh, you know, go go in my bedroom and, and get that Pepto for your mom. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Sit jumping, man. Got her covered when you play with me like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Radio Shack? Uh, you got any more of those two-way page of cell phones? Sometimes in the spot, you can feel all right. When there's nobody around oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love we are Maybe one 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 on one Can nobody break this bond Maybe one on one Now we haven't found One on one So, what do NBA stars want for Christmas? Carl the Mailman Malone? A championship ring. Kevin Garnett, a diamond earring buffer. <laughs> and Latrell Sprewell, some dandruff spray for his braids. <laughs> well, that's all for the Flex Files on Flex Washington. Flat out, back to you, Edwin. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> <Gesundheit>. <laughs> and back to me. Looks like the flu bug that's going around has bit our anchor man. <laughs> And when we come back, Edwin will have the latest update on the blizzard. <laughs> and hopefully a tissue. And we're out. <sighs> Cover your mouth. Look at these weaklings. I once worked 56 hours straight with pneumonia. So what if I don't have the full use of my right lung? Well, I'm sorry to hear about your little handicap, but I got my own problem. Like, when am I going to start to cover the hard-hitting stories? I've become a diligent, thorough, hard-working reporter. It's my time. No, it's Christmas Eve, and you should be home with your family. Only those of us with an empty womb should be working. <laughs> oh, all right, then. Uh, well, Merry Christmas, and uh, may your womb be filled with joy. <laughs> hey, everybody. Ooh, girl, looks like you got hit by a truck and it backed up and ran over you again. Daddy, she's feeling worse. I don't want her to go to the hotel. Mommy, please don't go. Okay, okay, I won't. Ooh, I'm sorry I had to fight dirty with them fake tears, but I learned from the best. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> okay, I'm about to put your bags up in the back. Ooh. You know what? Maybe it was those polar bear burgers I ate on the plane. <laughs> Well, with you being sick, it's good that you're sleeping here. Sleeping here? After what happened Thanksgiving? Flex, I thought that we decided that uh, you weren't going to get any more of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We decided that being friends was better for us, and you weren't getting any more of this. <laughs> you wish. That you wouldn't beg for it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Anyway, Brianna wants you here, and she would love to have both of us home for Christmas. Well, you don't have to work at all? 
Well, even if I had the opportunity, I can't run off on assignment during Brianna's first Christmas with me. Oh, the saga of a single parent versus career. I lived it for 12 years. It sure puts a dent in your social life. Yeah, my bachelor day seemed so long ago, I can't even remember what a Raven's chili the party was like. Mm, wait a minute. Mmm, there it is. <laughs> So how are we gonna decorate this sorry looking tree? The same way we deal with Uncle Loxton's gambling problem. <clears throat> we had it. Look at all the gifts under the tree. <laughs> it's disgusting. This room stinks with commercialism. You spend all your allowance again, huh? Girl, you know what? And all I can get you for Christmas is a hug. And a little for me. And a little for my homies. <laughs> And a little more for my lady. <laughs> this eggnog is gonna be better than Viagra. <laughs> Richard, don't you drink too much of that or the answer's gonna be, no, I have a headache. Oh, it ain't your head I'm interested in. <laughs> hey! Hey! Uh, man, it is coming on out there. I swear it's so cold, I saw a homeless man jump out of his box and into a refrigerator. So how'd you get over here, man? I commandeered a snowcat off a lot. It was either that or hole up in the sales office with this old cleaning lady. Now, if I was 40 years older, <laughs> you'd invite him to dinner just like you did. Yeah, you know me, dog. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Stacy. What's going on? Oh, nothing much. Uh... I was just thinking about that whole stepping up thing, and maybe I was a little too hasty. I'm ready to give you your break. Oh, really? What, what, what brought this on? Tell the truth, I could really use some help around here, and uh, Edwin's not feeling too well. <laughs> oh, look, I, I don't know. I mean, it's Christmas, my whole family's here. Uh, hold on. Well, what is it, Flex? Stacy wants me to come down to the station. This could be my big break, but this is Brianna's first Christmas here. And it'll still be my first Christmas when you get back. Uh, Stacy, I'm on my way. Hey, yo, D, I'm gonna need a ride on that snowcat, dog. Ah, uh, no problem, dog. Okay, kids, gather round, gather round. It's time for Big Daddy's traditional Christmas story. Oh, yeah. It was 50 years ago in Alabama. Me and my 15 brothers and sisters only had one pair of shoes between us. Really, Grandpa? Oh, it's true. We could only go outside to play one at a time. Oh, Flex. Oh, thank God you're here. Oh, God. Everyone's sick or stuck in the blizzard. You don't know how bad I need you. Oh, what's the big deal with sexual harassment? I like this mama. <laughs> if we go live in 30 seconds, come on. Oh, okay. Here you go. Okay, uh, I, I, I got this. Uh, okay, I'm on sports. Who's on webinar? You. Uh, who's on traffic? You. Who's on news? Oh, uh, let me guess. Is it, uh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Today's top story. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what you're laughing at. You're on teleprompter. What do I know about working a teleprompter? Well, do you know about how you'll walk after I knock your kneecaps off with my teeth? <laughs> Both ouch and mmm. <laughs> Dwayne Odell Knox, teleprompter operator at your service. Okay, in five, four, three. Good evening. I'm Flex Washington, and I'll be sitting in for everybody. And we'll be bringing you continuous coverage of the blizzard that's, 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 Dwayne! Oh, my bad, dog. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Bear with me, Baltimore. It's gonna be a long evening, but stay tuned. Our next story, news anchor bludgeons teleprompter operator with a box of Krispy Kreme. I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened. One look at that macaroni and cheese and I just felt like I was on that teacup ride. <laughs> you just lie right here and get yourself together. Okay, thank you. Here's some saltines to settle your stomach. Oh, thank you, Eunice. Go easy with them. I see you put on some weight. <laughs> oh, that's right. Turn it up. Meeting doctor stated that the boy had been breaking icicles off his roof with the broom. After repeated. Ooh, points, my son is so handsome on TV. He's gonna be the next Al Roker. <laughs> <laughs> Enough chat. How many weeks are you? What are you talking about? 
You've been throwing up ever since I got here. I dreamed about halibut last night, and everybody knows fish dreams are scientific proof of pregnancy. <laughs> well, if you must know, I'm only a week late. And yes, it could be job stress. Oh, yes, I did get a little queasy looking at the macaroni and cheese. And yes, the last time that happened, I was carrying Brianna. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> I'm not going to ask who the father is. I mean, that's your business. It really doesn't concern me at all. Well, actually, we both seen the father naked. <gasps> you and my Richard? Ew! <laughs> oh. <laughs> On a happier note, due to severe weather, the Wu-Tang Sings Christmas concert tour has been canceled. When we return to oh, our my God. <laughs> This is impossible. You live in Nova Scotia, he lives in Baltimore. How'd you two do it? Over the internet? <laughs> it happened during Thanksgiving. And I hope you're not just blaming me. No. No. It's what happens when a bad girl meets a good boy. <laughs> How long are you gonna keep doing this? I made something of myself. I got a PhD, damn it. <laughs> Who says I'm talking about you? You're not the only one. I, I had a baby shower and a bridal shower on the same day. <laughs> then why did you give me so much grief? Because I was a grandmother before I was 40. I was still queen of the disco. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Well, if I am pregnant, you know, this child is my responsibility. And I'll just... Raise my baby by myself in Nova Scotia. What about Flex? He's the father. He should know. Well, he's got his career, and he's raising Brianna. I just don't want to burden him. In fact, you know what? I could catch the next plane out of here. He would never know. So Daddy finally got a job in the lumberyard making toothpicks for a dime a barrel. <laughs> That's when we got our first Christmas tree. So Y'all will never guess who's pregnant. <gasps> oh, no, Brianna. Stay in it so. Don't you worry. I'll stand by you, and I'll raise baby as my own little mama. I can't believe you had sex and didn't tell me. I thought I was your best friend. OK, has everybody been dipping in Grandpa's eggnog? <laughs> it's not me. It's my mama. Oh, well, I'm not raising that kid. <laughs> Look, my mom's not gonna tell my dad she's having a baby. She's talking about going back to Nova Scotia and raising it by herself. Come on, y'all, we gotta go. So, we all jumped in to the river naked. <laughs> That's when I saw the most beautiful fish. It had the mouth of a woman. <laughs> For a more accurate assessment of the blizzard, we found a man on the street, Dwayne Odell Knox. Mr. Knox, what exactly did you witness outside? Snow. <laughs> and how would you describe the snow blanketed city outside? Barren, deserted, cold. <laughs> snow and cold. So if you didn't know, now you do. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Stay tuned to WINX for your up-to-date news and weather. We'll be right back. And we're in commercial. Thanks a lot, Rain Man. <laughs> Stacy, this is a nightmare. Lex, Lex, relax. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I'm impressed. You're not breaking, you're having fun with it. I think you're on your way to getting those meteor sports stories. Ah, you hear that, dog? <laughs> you're about to become the meaty man. And we're back in five, four, three. I'm Flex Washington, and you're watching WYNX News. Donations are still pouring. Uh, wait, 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 where, where are you going? I gotta talk to my dad. But he's busy right now. You guys are teenagers. Shouldn't you be at some rock concert popping caps? I gotta tell my daddy what's going on. Your dad's really into the news right now. Maybe we should tell him later. Hey, how many Z's are in Blizzard? I think I know how to get my dad interest. Uh, Dwayne, I need to add something into the script. Oh, you can't do that. You're not a union. <laughs> oh, my God. My first exclusive. The weather service reports that snow is falling at five inches an hour. Officials estimate that Nicole Barnes is four weeks. What? <laughs> Me? We'll be right back after this break. Hi. Your mom 
was pregnant? How did this happen? Well, I heard her talking to Grandma. She's not even going to tell you. She's going back to Nova Scotia having the baby on her own. You got to talk to her. But I can't walk out on Stacy. What am I saying? I can't walk out on me. This is my big break, sweetie. But, Daddy, please. She's talking about leaving tonight. She'll be black, pregnant, and alone in Nova Scotia, Daddy. A statistic. Daddy, please don't let my mommy be a statistic. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, sweetie. Stacy, look, I gotta go. Family emergency. And you're in the middle of a work emergency, Mr. Meteor Stories. Stacy, I want to do those stories. No, I deserve to do those stories. But my family comes first. I'm sorry. Flex. Flex. <laughs> All right, Dwayne, looks like it's me and you. Well, I didn't know you wanted to roll that way, but I'm down. <laughs> I'm talking about us going on camera. Oh, you got a little freak in you, don't you? <laughs> Brianna just came down to the station and told me that you're pregnant. Oh, she must have been listening outside that door. Oh, that sneaky little girl, just like her mama. <laughs> uh, Mom, could, could you give us a minute? Looks like... Our little romp at Thanksgiving has come back as a Christmas gift. I can't believe that I'm going to be a father again. I don't know what happened. I mean, we were very safe. Guess my boys are great swimmers, just like little Aquaman. <laughs> Get over yourself. Look, I don't want you to worry about this, OK? As long as you continue to take care of Brianna, I can raise little Levi all by myself. Now, hey, 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 ain't no child of mine gonna be named after jeans. <laughs> Although I've always liked the name Jordash. <laughs> Look, I know we may not be together, but we're in this together. But Flex, I don't want to interfere in your life, you know? Things are going well for you. Look, I spent a lot of years away from Brianna. And I don't want that to happen again. Hey, Mommy. I picked up this pregnancy test for you from the store. The sales lady said it's the best one and that I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> Three, two, one! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Arnaz, this is for you. Uh, uh, Otis Redding? The doors, Elvis? All artists who die before their time. Uh, how deep is your affection, Ryan? <laughs> deep enough to buy you UCD. <laughs> well, Brianna, you know how I am. I waited till the last minute, so I did the best that I could. Oh, you got my pager! Thank you, Daddy! <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank your brother selling them in the alley. <laughs> oh, cheer up, girl. Here, I made this for you. Oh, how sweet a ponytail! <laughs> Girl, I used all the hairs you left in my brush. Nicole, I have something for you. Well, in a few minutes, I'm gonna have something for you. I, um, I took the test. Well, uh, let's wait together. Okay, everybody, gather around. I'm going to finish my Christmas story. You want to look? No, you look. No, it's your pee, you look. You know, this is going to change our lives. Again. Yeah, I know. Mommy, Daddy, you got more presents to open. So, am I going to have a little brother, a little sister? I don't know which dot is the right dot. Here, let me see. Ooh, that's the wrong end. Ew! <laughs> All right, well, uh, let me get a good look at this. Uh, well, looks like there's not going to be a miracle this Christmas. Sure there is. I got both of my parents on Christmas. My family. It doesn't get any better than this.
Yeah, I've always been real comfortable in front of the camera like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, you hear that? Uh, the Christmas carols, smell the holiday ham, fresh cut Christmas trees. It's my favorite time of the year. Yeah, well, I hate it. All my girlfriends with their loving husbands, apple cheek children and their perfect Martha Stewart-like Christmas tables, all looking down on me because I'm a career woman with only one ovary. <laughs> Girl, you better come here. What made you do that? I think it was the one over. <laughs> yeah? Well, do it again. Watch yourself. <laughs> How you like Christmas now? I think I love it. <laughs> well, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what a bride it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what a bride it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Dashing through the snow. Last time on One on One. It's my first lead role. My first step towards Broadway. I wouldn't miss something that's important to you. Saturday is opening night and closing night, too. Big South shut down about a week ago. I mean, I'm out of a job. Well, I thought I was moving in with somebody that I cared about and that I trusted. Not a liar. Can we do this another time? I really have to get to my daughter's play. Uh, I'm on a plane tonight. I'd like to take care of this right yeah. now. You can't just throw it all away now, Flex. Let's go Nash. <gasps> Let me call my daughter. Do you know that my dad didn't even show up? Why don't you come to New York with me? Dear Daddy, I'm catching a train to New York to follow my dreams. I love you. Right about now, you should feel swell in the presence of a guy that's got to pull it out and make you feel more modest. Brace yourself. Now for the main event, that line played out, but it's ready to embrace yourself for the Emmy that's played out. Take it in, ladies. The city that never sleeps. Who needs to sleep when you're in the city? It's dreaming. Yeah, well, lots of sleep should make the natives cranky. Cranky? Girl, no, they're not cranky. Everybody's in a hurry. Everybody has a place to go. Don't you feel it? The excitement, the energy. Ooh, did a wretch just run over my foot? I don't know. It looks like the circus is coming to town. <laughs> this coming from a girl that's like a motorcycle mama son? <laughs> For all of your Gotham City needs. Glinda, stylist and fairy godmother to the stars. You even need a wish granted. You know who to call. Who? <laughs> I see which one you are. Scrolls the new Bond Dutch. No one wears hugs in the summer. This isn't LA. <laughs> and here's a flashlight. So you don't have to dress in the dark anymore. <laughs> hey, where'd she go? She disappeared. That's the magic of New York. I can feel it in the air. Our names are going to be in light. You hear that, New York? We're here! <laughs> Thank you and good night! Sometimes in the night, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. You are driving too fast. Well, you can always hop on your broom and meet us there. Uh, Candy used to love to speed. <laughs> she had a heavy foot. <laughs> but then, what would you expect from a woman who has a size 15 shoe? <laughs> Dwayne, you came with me to get your goddaughter and to get your mind off of Candy. Now, stop talking about Bigfoot. 
And I still can't believe that my spirit lied to me, talking about she and Arnez were going on an incense run. I should have known she was lying when she didn't take her bulletproof poncho. <laughs> oh, Arnez is with him? Oh. Oh, okay, Flex, Flex, I don't want to die without you knowing this is all your fault. My fault? Yes, yes, if you had gone to your daughter's play instead of chasing down some poochie, we wouldn't be stuck in this car with you know who. I love you. I love you. Where else but New York can you get pizza after midnight for a buck? <laughs> eat up, ladies. The 300 bucks Spirit gave me, we can eat pizza for the next 300 days. Are you branded? There's three of us. Ooh, times three, 900 days. Arne, sweetie, were you just dumb in Baltimore? Yes, <laughs> that's why I came along. He's dumb and you're sheltered. You guys don't have the heart for this. And you do? Has either of you ever been to the South Bronx to pick up Trinidadian patchouli? <laughs> it's my mom. It's my dad. It's my Dwayne. <laughs> oh, now my dad cares. Sorry, daddy, now I'm busy. Hey, guys, let's make a pact. No talking to our parents or our Dwayne. <laughs> Agree? Agreed. Scissors. <laughs> no answer. Me neither. Oh, oh, I'm leaving a message. Uh, hey, Arnaz, have you talked to Candy? If you have, give me a call. All right, bye. <laughs> And those ungrateful kids. Oh, wait till I get my hands on spirit. She will wish that she was never water birthed. <laughs> wait till I get my hands on candy. I'm gonna. <laughs> and then, when you keep up, we have to stay together. We're not in Baltimore anymore. That's right, we're on Broadway. <laughs> I'm tired. Where are we gonna sleep, Arnaz? Well, I figured we'd stay with my boy Butter. Remember him? He used to moose his hair with butter. I'd rather stay at a youth hostel. A hostel? Why would you want to stay someplace that's violent? God, he's getting dumber by the second. What did I ever see in him? And I'm back in. All right. Flex, I have to go to the bathroom. Can't we at least stop once? No. We're not even in Philly yet, man. We can't afford to lose time. Candy would have let me go to the bathroom. Oh, this is ridiculous. Would you pull over? Pull hey, over! Get, get, don't you pull on this steering wheel. This isn't a teacup ride at Rasta World. <laughs> Now, go. I'm not going out there. It's dark. <laughs> you better get out of this car! Now I gotta do two things. We're losing time. We got two hours to go. Where did I go wrong? Oh, my baby's a runaway. She's in New York. She, she, she could be sold into white slavery right now. Or even worse, she could be dancing in a Twister video. Your love is my love, and my love is your love. Said your love is my love, the world, oh yeah. So won't you freak, 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 free? If you see, 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 see. Won't you freak, 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 free? Be my girl. That's my boy. We go way back. Hey, butter! <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> yeah, man, it's me, Arnez. Fifth period band at Kenley High. You stuck drumsticks down my pants? <laughs> oh, Nazi pants! <laughs> What's up? Hey, everybody need my homie Nazi pants! Hey! Hey! These are my friends, Brianna and Spirit. We're all here to follow our dreams, just like you did. Well, you came to the right place. We got plenty of room, y'all. You're welcome to stay. Thanks. <laughs> welcome to paradise, where we don't judge, we just experience. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> wow, look at this place. It's just how I imagined it would be. Artists bonding in the name of art. <laughs> it's like rent. It's like Labo him. It's like friends, except with some black people. Uh, sorry, Daddy. I'm never coming back. 
I found my home. <laughs> if you see, 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 won't you free, 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 be my girl? Yeah, yeah, come on, free, 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 free. If you see, 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 won't you free, 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 be my girl? Because the air conditioning stopped working. That's why I'm in line for the tub. I want to get in and cool off while I can still see the bottom. <laughs> why don't these people just go home and take baths? Girl, look around. They are home. <laughs> Your shoes are hot. <laughs> hey, Butter, we could sell these shoes for food. <laughs> Give me those shoes. This is reality, Brianna. We're artists. We have to suffer for our art. That's why I slept on this fork. Arnett, snap out of it. I came here to live out my dreams, to be a star on Broadway. Man, you guys just got here. Chill. You remind me of Sarah. She moved in with us right out of Juilliard, expecting to go right to Broadway. And I got there. You did? Yeah. The McDonald's on Broadway in 56th. <laughs> I'm the understudy for the fry guy. <laughs> Look, the point is, you don't happen in New York. New York happens to you. So, what do you guys do in the meantime? Just hang out here? Sometimes I hang here. Sometimes I gig at the Canal Street Station on the Uptown platform, next to the tap dancer with one foot. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe one day, I'll get discovered. Well, one day's not good enough for me. I did not come all the way to New York to sling fries and hang out with my left foot. <laughs> We gotta get out of here. Come on. Uh-uh. Girl, before I lose my place in line, what is your plan? <laughs> Gigi! Linda, is that you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I also repair air conditioners. <laughs> you need to go see Pete Gigi. Why P. Diddy? If you want to make it as an actress, and you want to make it as a musician, and you want to make it in fashion, then... <laughs> There's only one man who can help you. That's it. P. Diddy. We're off to see P. Diddy. Come on, spirit. Come on, Arnett. We're off to see P. Diddy. <laughs> um, excuse me, Glenda. Just one more thing. Um, how do we see P. Diddy and why isn't anybody else coming? Different godmother. Technically, you arrived in the West Village. Those kids are from the East Village, and they're not my problem. Now, come on, girl. We've got to ease on down to Broadway. Flex, why are we stopping in the village? Look, Leilani, I just have to air out my truck. Your, your natural deodorant is stretching my limit. You know what? I'm, I'm going to try to find a signal. Well, hurry up. Peanuts. Ooh, peanuts. <laughs> yes. Peanuts. Uh, Candy used to love to read peanuts. She used to call me her little womp, 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 womp. Candy, candy, candy. I'm sick of hearing about candy. You need to move on, brother. I can't help it. I mean, I feel her presence all around me. <laughs> I see candy. <laughs> I keep getting her voicemail. All right, that's it. We got to go to the police. There's a cop right there towing your car. Candy? Oh, God. Ooh. <laughs> now I got to go save both my babies. I paid 75 grand for that one. I can't take it, dog. It's hot, our kids are missing, and I got visions of candy dancing in my head. <laughs> we ain't gonna find nobody. Our hopes are dried up like... like a raisin in the sun. <laughs> raisin in the sun? She went to Broadway. Yeah, if I know Brianna, that's where she is. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, taxi! Hey. You'll find it inside for his one night only encore performance of A Raisin in the Sun. A Raisin in the Sun? I love A Raisin in the Sun. But one ticket is $200. Arnez, how much money do we have left? None. I gave it all to Butter for letting us spend the night. He didn't want to take it, but I insisted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what Mama likes. <laughs> I have an extra ticket. Oh, my God. 
the twelve spinner. But wait, I can't go without my friends. You should be the one to go, Brianna. I mean, the theater's your dream. Yeah, and I don't want to see a play about raisins anyway, even if they do dance. <laughs> Shall we? Baby, you finally come back to me. <laughs> After we save the children, I'm gonna make sweet, sweet love to you. <laughs> ah, not without 12 goats and a better of cheese. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, listen, you can get your goat on after you take us to the Emerald Palace right away. Oh, you're going to see P. Diddy. You know, I saw him. You saw him in the Raisin in the Sun? No, sister. I saw him sweating in the sun. When he ran that marathon, ah, that bobo can go. Hey, hey, enough of the chatter, Mother Africa. Take us to find my daughter. <laughs> The first act was so amazing. If you're crying now, you're going to lose it in the second act. Because Diddy loses all that money. <laughs> Oops. Did I give it away? No, it's just that this play is all about family and home. And I ran away from mine. Why did I do that? You don't have to be a fairy godmother to know you're going to tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you why I ran away. I ran away because my daddy doesn't care about me. All he cares about is his career. Sounds like a very selfish guy. You don't know him. My daddy is the best daddy in the whole world. And he just wanted to make a home for me. And how do I thank him? I run away like some ungrateful brat. I thought you were chasing your dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but after I went to Butters, I realized that I can make the same mistakes they did. They all came to New York to follow their dreams. But they came too soon. They weren't ready, and neither am I. I want to go home. Click your heels three times. Oh, that'll get me home. No, but it will get that gum off your shoe. <laughs> What's up? Glenda? Oil rags by Spears. Oil rags by Spears? Uh-uh. Hey, oil rags by Donna Karen. Donna Karen? <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, Spirit, we can't sell things on the street without a permit. Who told you that? Those cops chasing me. Run! <laughs> hold tight, I'll catch you! Emerald Palace, get out. <laughs> New York City. Just look, just look at the hoodlums running. Oh, wait a minute! Fast. Those oh, are our hoodlums! Freedom of oh, Eric Jones! Oh my God, get back here! Hey, the lady, her goats and cheese. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, that'll be 10 50. Uh. You don't accept Costco, do you? Arnay, Spirit, it was great. I saw P. Diddy and he helped me realize that I want to go home. Don't you want to go home? Guys, hello? Come on, guys, this is not funny. Okay, I know what this is. This is Gabriana. Okay, I'll play the floor. Guys! Daddy! Daddy, where are you? Where I've always been. Right behind you. <laughs> oh, my baby! I missed you so much. Oh, I missed you so much, too. Wait a minute, don't be hugging me yet. <laughs> I was worried sick about you. Look, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry I ran away. I was just mad at you for missing my play. And I got tired of you always being too busy for me. Baby, I'm sorry that I missed your play, and I'm sorry that I was so busy, but everything I've been doing, I've been doing it for us. And yes, I made some mistakes. Baby, you can't run away every time we have a problem. We have to talk it out. Cool? Cool. Now nah, you can hug me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you found yours. Mine's gonna cost me a $200 fine for panhandling without a license. Mom, I'll pay you back. Oh, I know that's right. What were you thinking, spirit? I am not Mr. Washington. I pay attention to you. <laughs> Mom, I had to come. They needed me to be the urban goddess you taught me to be, to show them the way. Oh, that's my baby, that's right. <laughs> oh, did you get some incense? You ran away with my daughter, Arnaz. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't choke the life out you. Hmm? Come on, Daddy, you know it's not his fault. All right, look, everybody, let's just, come on, let's go home. I am home. Arnaz, what are you saying? 
Look, Brianna, it's different for me in Baltimore. I'm not lucky like you in spirit. You guys have parents who are there for you, and all I got is me. Oh, Arnez, we can't leave you here. Look, I'm 18, I can take care of myself. Arnez, this is a big decision. You're gonna live in this city all alone with just your guitar? Boy, that's sad. Look, Mr. Washington, you made big decisions when you were 18. Everything turned out okay for you. Here, son. Just a little something to hold you over for a while. Now listen, if you need anything, okay, anything at all, you give us a call, all right? All right, you heard the boy, he stands. Let's break out. to a party, you said. It'll be fun, you said. It'll be at a graveyard, you didn't say. Since we all might die out here, maybe we should make out. Nobody's gonna die out here. My dad's gonna be here in a few minutes. Yeah, but how do you know he's not gonna kill us for sneaking out to this party? My dad's not gonna kill us. He was glad I called him. He and I have a no questions asked policy. He'll come pick me up anytime I'm in trouble. No questions asked. Your dad is amazing. Could he adopt me? No, then that would make you my brother, and that would put us in Greg and Marsha Brady land. <laughs> and we don't need that, okay? Don't worry, kids. I won't tell your parents. You should have just left me out there to die, because when I get home, my parents are going to kill me. My mom won't even notice. She's been so depressed since the divorce, she sits around all day with her friend Jack. Daniels. <laughs> They're getting off scot-free. I came along for the beating. Where's the beating? You know I don't believe in that. I'm just glad she knows she can call me when she's in trouble. And her safety is all that matters. Oh, I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Bibi. Oh, this is making me sick. Parenting isn't about love, it's about discipline. My mama beat me each and every time I stepped out of line, and I turned out fine. Whatever, Dwayne. Mama, no! Right next to the can to give me back my spare key, you freeloader. Uh, hey, Daddy, I'm about to go to the mall with Spirit and probably pick up some ice smokers, so I'll be home around 9-ish. Ooh, ooh, on a school night? Uh, I'm thinking no-ish. Tell her, Flash. <laughs> uh, don't you have a book report due tomorrow? Hence the ice smokers. The caffeine will help me stay up late, watch the movie, and crank out the perfect book report. No, have two mochas and read the book. <laughs> OK, Daddy, see you later. All right. Oh, uh, uh, your friend Amanda called. Oh. 
What's with the face? I thought that was one of your girls. She was, but now she's smoking cigarettes and she thinks she's all cool. And like you told me, secondhand smoke will kill you. And not to mention, my clothes are too cute to be smelling like Grandpa's couch. Oh, okay. girl. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. See, that? that's my girl. See, most parents can't get that message through to their kids. But because I treat her like a friend, it sunk in. She's still running around like a wild child on a weeknight, all hopped up on mochas. I'm worried about her flex. That mocha is a gateway beverage. Next thing you know, she's gonna be hitting those lattes, selling your BCR for a pound of that Jamaica's finest. But that Blue Mountain Roast, you, you can't kick that. Dwayne, if you had a child or a father, you, my bad, dude. you'd understand my unique parenting style. See, I provide a haven, a safe place where Brianna can come with her problems and all her anxieties and won't be judged. It's, it's a teenager's utopia. A flextopia, if you will. Oh, yeah, flextopia. <laughs> where minors check in and convicts check out. <laughs> Doug, I'm starting a new school of parenting, okay? A school of tolerance and understanding. And if I'm reasonable, I won't push her away. See, the closer I am to her, the easier it is for me to protect her. Man, that's brilliant. I should write a book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and if Brianna makes it through high school, maybe she can read it. Flextopia is a place where... <laughs> Daryl, the bus driver, asked you out. That's officially the time to stop taking the bus. Well, then I've been taking the bus for two months too long. You know what? We need a car. No, no, no. What we need is money for a car. Yes, money. Money, money, money. Where can we get some money? Oh, we could all get jobs. But <laughs> but no, no, no. Seriously. How are we gonna get some money? Man, Ernest, didn't you pay, like, $20 for that bracelet? Yeah, I got it at a rave. I went to a ginger. And they charged you guys to get into the rave, right? Yeah, 20 bucks each. So that's 40 bucks a person. So if 100 people showed up, that's $4,000. Yo, that's how we get our car. We throw a rave. Yeah, but what if everybody isn't stupid enough to buy a bracelet? Girl, we are teenagers. If one person buys something, we all stupid enough to buy it, OK? <laughs> I know we can hold it. My mom leases commercial real estate. Let's grab one of the keys to the warehouses. I don't know, you guys are rave. If we get caught, we could get in some serious trouble. No, 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 look, if we get caught, then I'll take the rap. I'll just use my dad's no questions asked policy. Of course, if I'll be assuming the majority of the risks, I'll be assuming the majority of the profits. In other words, the car stand in my house. <laughs> we can save money if I DJ. Oh, so cool, cool. So our Nezu DJ and Spirits, you and I will make some really cool cryptic invitations. You know what I think? We're the three smartest kids in Baltimore. Hammer, 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 hammer. My check. <laughs> oh, OK, maybe the two smartest kids. <laughs> Brianna, this rave is the best idea you ever had, and you pulled it off in a week. You notice how P. Diddy got his start. <laughs> Girl, you might as well start calling me B. Diddy, and I'll call you from my private dread, hey, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Ooh, but let's go before your father gets home. Your dad might be cool, but I'm not good at lying to parents. Hey, Spirit. Uh, uh, I ain't done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Daddy, we about to go to Spirit's, all right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you uh, clean the bathroom? Sure did, bye-bye. Whoa, 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 before you disappear to Spirit's for the weekend, did you do your science project? The potato is sputting as we speak. But that was freshman science project. A uh, different teacher. That's my girl. Not my girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, for God's sakes, Mr. Washington, let us go. Hey, I, I was just trying to give you all some money for some pizza. Oh, okay, thank you. Bye -bye. That's it. The father of tomorrow is a bachelor for tonight. Get changed, we going out. Let's do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, glow sticks. Wonder what they were doing with these. Maybe they were going to a <laughs> pretty colors. <laughs> no, we haven't been clubbing in a long time, man. We're going to bounce to Whispers, Classics, Gotham, and the Clubhouse. Uh-huh. Then we're going to have a little after party at... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't trust a big butt and a smile. Never have, never will. Man, I knew Brianna wasn't having a rave at her house. Did you say Brianna? Yeah, dude, it's supposed to be off the hook. Brianna's spirit and that blonde chick Arnez are throwing it. So, who are you, Brianna's brother? I'm her dad. Holla. <laughs> See, now those glow sticks are starting to make sense. 
I think our little Bree Bree is throwing a rave rave. <laughs> now, Brianna would tell me if she was throwing a rave. There's no way she's throwing a rave. <laughs> Sticks. The lost boys searching for the rave who don't trust a big butt and a smile. I mean, good God, man, how much more do you need? I think you're right, D. I think I've been used. I've been had. There is a rave. Yes. That lying, mm -hmm. manipulative, Come on now. underhanded. Preaching to the choir. Spirit! What? <laughs> yes, little buddy, Spirit's thrown a rave and has convinced my daughter into being part of it. That little hippie spawn to the navigator. Oh, this better be good because we be jamming. You better jam well give me back my daughter. Mr. Washington, are the girls all right? You tell me, aren't they here? Obviously not, because they're at a rave. Right? You don't have any more than pineapple drinks, do you? <laughs> Stella, darling, you're taking too long. Your pool boy's waiting to get your groove on, rubber dub style. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hello, uh, Mrs. and I are having a night without the kids, and the minutes are ticking. Uh, come on, Mama. <laughs> this is Spirit's daddy, Cooper. Honey, you remember Brianna's father? Oh, right, the uh, flat app man. Uh, he ain't that good looking. <laughs> Oh, either my son Arnaz is in trouble, or there's a party in the hallway. <laughs> either way, I'm prepared. <laughs> Evidently, our children are at a rave. A rave? No, Arnaz is at the library with his tutor, Ginger. <laughs> oh, if they're not here and they're not in my house, then where are they? Man, there's no way the rave is going to be at Spirit's house. Oh, it's a pair of sons, right? Get that in there! Get him! Get him! He's all warmed up. I guess I could stick my toe in it for a minute. Oh, <laughs> okay, Mr. Man, I'm your host. My name is Bree. Right, right. Well, yo, I just came to chop it up with a few real folks, you know. Um, point me to the VIP section. Oh, we don't have one. You do now. Oh, oh that was dope. Huh. Yeah, you might want to crack a window. <laughs> Is it maybe you have to be like at a rave? Thank you. Give me that. I know these kids, all right? I will figure this thing out in no time. Let's just drive around till we find it. Arnez's father, that tramp he's shacking up with, lives two blocks from here. Not that I follow them or anything. Would anybody mind if I smoke? Yeah. You know, I never did smoke until after the divorce, and someday I'm gonna quit. Just black men I can't live without. 
I know what you mean, girlfriend. They're just like candy. Can't get enough of them. <laughs> Hi! Name! Brianna Barnes? Nope, not on the list. But it's my name! Ah, uh, a uh, little pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She good, dog. Let her in. Let her in. Let her in. What's up, man? What you doing? You want some food? Picking a blanket, shrimp? Uh, no, I'm cool. I'm cool, but this is nice. This is nice. Now, how could I say no to that? Let's see. Uh -uh. <laughs> but, but, Mr. Man, I think your fans are calling you. I'm about to call security because VIP has an age limit. Security! But wait, I just, but it's my rave! <laughs> you know, Cheryl, uh, the divorce must have been hard on Inez, too. Yeah, yeah, it was. His father not being around probably explains the way Inez is acting. I mean, this whole rave thing sounds like something he would plan. I hardly think little sis goes behind this one. Oh, oh, hold on now. Don't be so hard on yourself, Cooper, there. All right? I know you guys did the best you could with spirit, but it's not your fault she dresses like a palm reader. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I think we uh, all know that your daughter is the ring leader. Don't blame Brianna for your children's delinquency. You people don't know your kids. You're so strict, they're afraid of you. They don't even want to be your friend. That is exactly why I'm the one picking them up from parties and covering for them. You did what? I'm sorry, what? Uh-huh. You promised the kids you wouldn't tell their parents you picked them up from the party because of your no questions asked policy. Uh, don't worry, y'all. It'll be in his parenting book. <laughs> see, see that? No questions asked. A typical rookie mistake. Sounds like somebody's been listening to too much AM radio. <laughs> Flex, did you actually think you could build a relationship with your child on trust? <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Man, how you doing? Oh, what's up, little princess? Come to try to get me to perform again? Oh, no, no, no. We got a new hot artist in the house. Lil Ned is gonna rock the mic for us. <laughs> I looked in the sky, saw a girl with my eye. That's the truth. Ain't no lie. I'm serious. What? No, no, no. This has got to stop. Damn. They need to start calling me a lifeguard, because I'm always saving the party. Somebody, anybody, everybody, scream! As I walk in the shadow of death, 16 men on the dead man's chest. Your host this scene is the H.O.T. And I get you, get splash, splash. Nobody go to the car, say, son, you got a second or more to run for the dough. Before I blow back off the map, contact, you didn't know stack, could get down like that. Who I come test, rocket launcher, yes. Mr. Map holds the fourth most best. Kids is dead wrong, songs too long. Get swung on, can't we all get along? See my pinky, see my thumb, see that kid with the pump shotgun. Bust your gums, leave your whole shit numb. Lord, what's this? Oh, it's the big Is that Mr. Man? I can't believe your kids can pull something off like this. Oh my god, this is one of my properties, and it's condemned. Only one way. Okay, I've seen enough. We gotta get your kids out of here. Hey, Foxy. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at my baby. Snatch her, snatch her by the hair. Oh, I'm on it. I'm about to get a fistful of brains. Oh. <laughs> what? Man, your daughter's a juvenile delinquent. And she's my hero. <laughs> See my pink thing. She up. <laughs> Look around, D. My daughter's not even here. She probably had the sense to go home, and now she's sleeping like a baby. <laughs> hey, are y'all loving my bleeping party? <laughs> I'm gonna bleep and kill her. Did I get it? You know? You know. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey, hey, watch the touching, man. Hey, I'm not a bowling ball. Get your finger out of there. <laughs> Right, right here. 
right here? <laughs> Come on, Daddy, say something. Daddy! The silence is killing me! What do you want me to say? I racked my brain all the way home, and I got nothing. I'm at a loss. So you're not gonna punish me? Oh, I'm gonna punish you. I'm gonna take away your CD player, then I'm gonna take away your driving permit. But is that gonna stop you from doing something like this again? Daddy, I said I was sorry. We were trying to make some money to get a car. You're always telling me to be resourceful. I was being resourceful. No, you were being deceitful. Do you realize what you did tonight? You invited hundreds of strangers to a condemned building. There were drugs and alcohol. But, Daddy, it was supposed to be a clean raid. You can't control what other people do, Brianna. I'm really disappointed in you. I, I thought I was raising you better than this. Okay, Daddy, I made a mistake. Oh, you made lots of mistakes. But you know what else gets me? Did you know if you would have told me about this, I would have said no. But you went behind my back and did it anyway. And the funny thing is, I fought for you. You could be living with your mother. But no, I thought I was the best parent for you. You are, Daddy. I love being with you. Oh, of course. This is Flextopia. <laughs> you know, I love being with me, too. But I want to thank you, because you taught me a very valuable lesson tonight. I did? Yeah. I learned that I can be your father, but I can't be your friend. I said no, and that's the last time I'm gonna tell you, no. I, I, I don't hear any bad talk. I, I don't hear any bad talk. Why? Because I said so. I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> now, come on, Flex. I'm two seconds away from underage drinking and a teenage pregnancy. Now, come on, bro, from the top. All right, all right. All right. <clears throat> as long as you live under my roof, you're gonna follow my rules. I worked too hard to come home to this. Now, now go to your room. I hate you. I'm going to live with mommy. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Is that cool, dog? Oh, that was beautiful, yeah. baby. <laughs> You're the type of father the country needs. Please yeah. believe it. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and that was Dirty Trash with Stinky Stinky here on Yank It or Crank It. Let's take those phone calls. Arnaz, we can't wait here any longer for your song to come on the radio. My mom's plan already landed, and Spirit and I promised we'd be home to meet them. Yeah, but the DJ said he was gonna play it today. Why? To test the Baltimore emergency evacuation system? <laughs> All right, we've saved the best for last. Shh. They're introducing the next song. Get ready to crank this from the hometown crew known as Zanra Revolution. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't believe it. Wait, guys, 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 hold up. This is the hottest jam all day, and I've already got a yank call. What idiot would yank this? Who are you calling an idiot? <laughs> Mom, your head girl, I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one in. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody. if your father wasn't late picking us up. Now, fall back, Nicole. How was I supposed to know your broom would arrive early? <laughs> ah, anger and frustration. Perfect for Brianna's graduation documentary. <laughs> now, you guys just keep it real and act like I'm not here. How do you think I survived these trips? <laughs> Where is that girl? Now, she was at Arnaz's. I'm sure she's on her way. Oh, you think she'll be here to meet her baby sister. But no, you let her stay up in that boy's apartment. You know what? If I were here, I would give her a piece of my... Oh, thank you so much. James's 
Hi. But I have somebody I want you to meet. Angela, this is your big sis. Oh, hi, Boo Bear. <laughs> so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> oh, excuse me, people. If you want to capture the reality of Brianna's graduation, I'm going to need better performances. I mean, that baby is just phoning it in. Poke it or something. <laughs> Now that everybody is here, I have a big announcement to make. Okay. I've decided what college I'm going to. <laughs> Finally, you've been keeping us waiting forever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to the University of Maryland. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Oh, congratulations, baby. Oh, <laughs> we'll all be staying together. You'll be at U of M, I'll be at Maryland School of Design, and Arnaz, you'll be... What will you be doing, Arnaz? <laughs> Rockin'. <laughs> Cal Arts, you were raving about their drama program. Well, I thought about it, and since they're both really good schools, and Arnaz is about to be a huge rock star here in Baltimore. Rock it. <laughs> I just decided to stay here and be with my boo. That's right, baby. Uh huh. I'm so happy for you. Mm. All right, hey, 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 I'm more happy, less spit. Come on. <laughs> uh oh, Brianna, I think I smell a dirty diaper. Okay, I'll change her. Come on, let's go show her my room. <laughs> Hey, Arnez, when we have a baby, do you think it'll look more like me or more like you? Either way, it'll be cute <laughs> and fun to make. <laughs> Flex, what is going on around here? Brianna's talking about having babies, making out in front of us, and throwing away an opportunity to go to California to stay here with a dummy. <laughs> hey, don't drag me into this. <laughs> you out. Now, Flex, we have got to do something about Brianna and Arnez before they end up like us. Two miserable 18-year-olds with a baby. Hey, only one of us was miserable, and it wasn't you. <laughs> Stop worrying. I know my daughter. She's a responsible young adult. Flex, this is important. She needs to focus on an education and not a boy. Do you remember how tough it was for us, not knowing if we were going to make it? Yeah, we didn't. Exactly. That's why we need to make sure that she goes to Cal Arts, away from Arnez. We? Oh, we can't tell him what to do. I got $8,000 in therapy bills saying that's a new new. <laughs> okay, fine. Then I'll talk to him. Arnez isn't going to listen to you. Nobody listens to you. I didn't start listening to you until a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> if anybody should talk to him, it should be me. All right, so just relax. No. I, I, I got it. Right. And now, a rare sister-to-sister -sister moment <laughs> where the uh, nice, sweet, new girlfriend meets the not-so-nice, not-so-sweet, and definitely not-so-new ex-wife. I'm gonna shove that oh, Nicole! Nicole! Hi! Hi! I'm Danielle. <laughs> I wanted to welcome you with a cake, but I was so nervous about meeting you. Well, I... Will half a cake do? <laughs> It'll do very nicely, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Nicole, uh, this is Danielle. Uh, she's the reason why Brianna and I are getting along so well. <laughs> <laughs> I was their therapist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So now the whole therapy thing makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you spent a long time on the couch, did you, Flex? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, you going down, Daddy. Hello? Well, have you talked to Arnez yet? Look, I am bonding with my child. It's not the right time. <laughs> In your face, punk! <laughs> I, I mean, Daddy. Flex! Flex! <laughs> have you talked to Arnez yet? <laughs> it's not the right time! Woman, it's five o'clock in the morning. What did you? Hey, watch out for that car. But... Never mind. <laughs> uh -oh. Baby names: Brandon Ballard, Kobe Ballard, <laughs> Brittany Ballard, Ballard Three Thousand. 
Oh, now's the right time. Have you talked to Arnez yet? I was on my way to do that right now. Uh, wh where's your baby? Don't worry about the baby. <laughs> Angela? <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yo, check this. I just talked to my promoter buddy. He heard our song on the radio. Said he wants to book us for summer gigs as soon as Charlie gets back in town, dude. Yes! <laughs> See? That's what I'm talking about. It's our time, fellas. Yep. <laughs> I feel the same way, bro. <laughs> hey, Mr. Washington. Um, Brianna's not here. I know. So, uh, what do you want, Mr. Washington? You know, I've been thinking on this. It's been really great having Brianna here. But wouldn't a school in Hollywood be better for her career? I mean, I suppose, but Brianna's already made up her mind. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. But uh, just had this crazy... Yeah, you know what? No, nah, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Well, what? Yeah, I, I was just thinking maybe you could talk to her. Nah, that's, that's too crazy. Man. You, you don't have that kind of influence over her, so I'm just tripping. My yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, I want to pants in this relationship. <laughs> I can convince her that we need to go to California. I convince the guys in the band, too. Fitzy's always talking about Roscoe's chicken and waffles. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. The band, the band. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd hate to see you guys give up all that success here, you know? You'd have to go to L.A. where nobody knows you and start all over. You'd be a small fish in a big pond. Unlike here, where you'd be a big fish in a small pond. Hmm, big fish, small fish. Okay, what does Dr. Seuss have to do with this? Wow. <sighs> what to do, what to do. Hmm. Genre could be huge here. <laughs> yeah, it's always been my dream. Yeah, I know, and it's always been Brianna's dream to be a great actress. I mean, I wonder how you could do both. Think, Flex, think. <laughs> how could Brianna go to California to follow her dream and you stay here in Baltimore to follow your dream? I got an idea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. Even though the plan was for Brianna and I to stay together, uh -huh. what if she went to California to follow her dream and then I stay... Shoot, where was I going with this? I, I, I think what you were gonna say was, Brianna could go to California and you stay here in Baltimore. Yeah, that's it! <laughs> it's, it's like you're in my head! Yeah. Lord knows, there's plenty of room. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> hey, Arnett. Yeah. It's all you, baby. <laughs> you're all in here. One day before graduation, 24 hours before the rest of her life begins, what will her future hold? What will she put on her sandwich? Where will she shake Dwayne if he doesn't get that camera away from her? Come in. Oh, hey, boo. Brianna, we need to talk. Uh, Dwayne, do you mind? Oh, you want me to get this all on video? Uh, yeah, we can take it from your exit. Edgy. I like it. Hey, so what's with the bread? The market was out of flowers, but this smelled good, too. Ooh, and this French, how romantic. <laughs> All right, Brianna, I know you decided on Maryland, but I've been giving this a lot of thought, and I really think that Cal Arts is a better school for you. Ooh, baby, you know I love the idea of California. You finally getting that tan you always wanted. But I chose Maryland because I was taking off. Yeah, I was thinking about that, too. And I really think that I should stay here in Baltimore with the band while you go to Cal Arts. I mean, I'd rather be a one fish, two fish than a red fish, blue fish. <laughs> in the big purple pond. Wait, hold up. Are you talking about us being apart? Because I thought the plan was always for us to be together no matter what. We'll still be together in spirit? But without spirit. Oh, so it's we now. Well, where were we when you made the decision to send me off to California? Look, Arnez, long-distance relationships never work. So if you want to be apart, then we'll be apart. 
Mom, Dad, I'm going to California. Uh, Brianna! Look, Inez. Oh, Inez, it'll be okay, baby. talking about. I gotta hand it to you, Flex. I didn't think you could do it, but you really pulled it off. Well, Nicole, I didn't mean for them to break up. Bonus! <laughs> she is our daughter. Don't you see how sad she was? Oh, come on now, Flex. I know this is hard, but we should be proud. We are sending our baby off to college with no rings and no babies. We did the right thing. How could you be so cold? I thought Africa would thaw you out. <laughs>
Brianna Latrice Barnes. Whoa! Flex was the smartest thing I ever did. <laughs> oh, you mean Brianna? <laughs> oh, happy, happy, yes, happy. Uh, Look here, girlfriend to girlfriend. Tell Ray, me what Flex said Alan about me in therapy. Bolton. Oh, no, I I'm afraid I can't tell you that. But you are much nicer than I thought you'd be. <laughs> Flotillo, Spirit, Freedom, Jones. Very proud of the both of you. <laughs> and the boy, too. Speaking of which, Arnez! No, no, Duane, don't call him up I, 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 Tut, tut. I want to get a photo of the three of you. It's for the DVD cover. <laughs> Arnez, come on now. <laughs> All right, everybody stand over here by the banner. <laughs> the graduates, look at... <laughs> what? Come on, kids, what is this? I mean, where's, where's the camaraderie? Where, where's the love? Uh, show me the love and I'll show you the money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Look at her. She should be happy on her graduation day. She's smiling. Yeah, through her pain, she gets that smile from me, and I wore it on our wedding day. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. Nicole, if Brianna finds out about this, she's going to hate us for the rest of our lives. Look, if that's the price we have to pay for her having a good life, then it'll be worth it. That's easy for you to say. You're used to people hating you. <laughs> Listen, I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm gonna tell you this now. Your job is to keep your mouth shut. You just make sure she gets on that plane to California and don't screw it up, or I'm coming back. Uh, if that's the case, I'm gonna make sure she's on that plane. If it's the last thing I do, because I don't want to hear your mouth. Thank you. I don't want to hear nothing you Thank got to say. Very all right? Much. That's all just I want. Feed the bed. She ain't eat all day. 